Hi, this is Brett Premack. I want to talk to you about the ZI-8 pocket camcorder. I've been using it for, I guess, five or six months now, shooting uh, in a variety of situations, and I wanted to share with you uh, some of the accessories that uh, are not imperative, but can greatly help you in your video production. The first accessory is not really an accessory, but a second battery. The battery that comes with the unit lasts approximately an hour if you shoot non-stop. Usually what we do is we shoot five or ten minutes and we stop and start and you know, approximately an hour's worth of shooting time. But when you're out on the road, when you're in a place where you cannot easily get to an AC outlet to uh, recharge the battery, it's best really to have a second battery that's already recharged in your pocket. That way uh, when the first one goes down, you just uh, snap in the second one. It gives you a lot more shooting time. Uh, look around the web, you should be able to find a, a second battery for $15 or $20. Certainly uh, a very, very worthwhile investment and one that uh, is actually kind of essential. So I would put that on the essential accessories list. Something else that's it's essential is a tripod. Uh, tripods come in a variety of uh, prices and sizes, from a little uh, tabletop tripod to a uh, expensive uh, tripod, hundreds of dollars, with what's called a fluid head. Uh, the fluid head is what enables you to get those really smooth panning shots that you see. If you buy an inexpensive tripod and you move it or you pan the shot, it's going to be like a little bit jerky because it doesn't have that fluid head. Now there's a trick, an inexpensive trick that can enable you to get really smooth pan shots with a inexpensive tripod and that's to use a rubber band. That's right. Here's a link to a video that explains that. Uh, in terms of how much to spend for a tripod, you can pick up a tripod uh, for $15, literally. Uh, I would highly recommend uh, going to your local electronics store, maybe trying out a few different tripods. Uh, I have no specific recommendation, just uh, something that gets up high enough for you and uh, that produces a relatively smooth pan, which you can enhance by using that uh, rubber band technique. Now, in terms of a monopod, a monopod is just one stick. Uh, it's really good in situations where you're on the move a lot. Also, with this particular camera, I have found that uh, using the monopod when I'm just out shooting, when I'm just holding the camera and trying to pan around and try to do different things, the monopod uh, adds a uh, element of stabilization. As you can see from uh, this video that I shot here, uh, the camera on a monopod when you're walking is actually okay. Uh, monopods also come in uh, different prices, uh, as inexpensive as $20. I happen to buy the Mercedes-Benz of monopods. It's, it's about $60, highly recommended, but the inexpensive models work, work as well, I'm sure. It's up to you whether you want to get a tripod and a monopod or just a monopod, but uh, a tr an inexpensive tripod for $20 and an inexpensive monopod for $20 doesn't really seem like a very big investment. You don't need either, but as you move on here in this video production process, you'll probably want to get both. Uh, the other element uh, that is also uh, not necessary, but is very, very helpful is an external microphone. One of the reasons we like the Kodak ZI-8 is that you'll have the ability to use an external microphone. The uh, very popular flip video, which uh, comes in several different shapes and sizes, does not have that ability to use an external microphone. The microphone that comes on these cameras is usually okay, and the ZI-8, it's, it's all right. In fact, uh, the ZI-8, uh, in a performance situation where the microphone is close enough to the band, actually produces some good audio, as you'll see here. And in an interview situation, uh, if you get close enough to the person you're interviewing, the audio is also okay. I never would have thought to come to Taiwan. Uh, I'm from St. Louis and I had lived there my whole life. But a job opportunity came along. I came here and tried this place out. And but for professional quality audio, you'll want to utilize an external microphone. 
Here's a, a, a bit of a, a video I shot using uh, an inexpensive external microphone. Uh, I know Chris Potter, who's excellent, because I heard him when he was 13 or something, 14. Now, as you can hear, this is perfectly adequate. But for web video, this is going to do the job. Uh, the challenge with using the external microphone is that you lose a certain element of your portability. You've got to plug the microphone in and then put it on the uh, person you're interviewing. Uh, the cord that comes with the particular microphone that I use, uh, the Audio-Technica, which you see here, uh, is about 15 feet long, so you can actually get pretty far from the subject, which uh, opens up a lot of possibilities. The last accessory, which is not essential but necessary, is a case. As you can see here, I've got the uh, got a little case on the camera. I'm going to take it off of here. Here's the camera. Here's the case. It uh, protects the camera. Uh, it's good when you drop it. <laughs> it softens the blow. Not a good idea to drop the camera, but I have dropped this camera so I can report that it does survive uh, nicely uh, with this rubber case that kind of uh, softens the blow. Once again, don't drop the camera, but these things happen as we know. Uh, the other thing I like about the case is that it, it keeps the uh, exterior case from getting smudged up. Just easier to hold, easier to grip. So I like the case. Those are a few of the accessories that I use with the ZI-8 that I can highly recommend.